Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Corey here and I'm back with a new video today. Today I'm going to teach you how to play the drum groove to the song Gravity by John Mayer. So this song is very, very simple, but what makes it really, really cool in the way that Steve Jordan plays this song is the groove behind the beat. The song's in 6-8. It's at about 123, 124 BPM if you're using a metronome at home. And the basic idea is it's just a straight 6-8 um, beat, but it kind of has this laid back shuffle feel to it, which is what makes it really cool. And so how to play this song is very, very simple, but it all comes down to the groove and the feel of the beat. So the first thing you're gonna do is, we're in 6-8, so you're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so with the hi-hat, what he does is he kind of gradually hits that last one, two, three, four, five, six. He hits that six on the hi-hat a little bit, just a tad harder when it rolls over into one for the next uh, measure. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he keeps that going. He's hitting the kick on one, one, two, three, four, and four. So one and four are your kicks. And going back into one, he gives it kind of a, uh, like a little accent kick right before it, which is another feel thing. And that's really hard to explain. You just kind of have to listen and pick up on that. Um, I would recommend watching some kick drum uh, pedal techniques to learn how to kind of do accent kicks um, going into beat one. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. But he's keeping the hi-hats going. He's got kicks on one and four. And he's got the snare. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the snare's on four. So six on hat with beat six being a little bit harder. Snare on four, kick on one and four. Um, and so you'll notice I said snare on four and kick on four. Yes, he's hitting kick and snare at the same time on four. And then you just kind of want to be laid back, loosey-goosey, tighten the pocket, um, and, and just lock in and play this groove. I'm going to show you guys each thing. I'm going to start with the hi-hats, and then I'm going to add the snare, and then I'll add the kick. And I'm just going to play this for you using my camera audio through my Rode microphone here first. And then I'll switch over to my Pro Tools audio and show you guys what it sounds like all together with the finished product. So. Here we go, I'm gonna start with the hi-hats only, and then we'll go to snare, and then we'll add kick. So hi-hats only. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, So you can kind of hear there how I'm hitting those sixes a little bit harder on the hi-hat. I'm also kind of accenting the um, four a little bit as well with the snare drum. And then also notice how the kicks are pretty on beat and the kick and snare on beat four happen at the same time and I want to lock those in. You don't want your kick and snare flamming at all. That means that your kick and your snare drum are hitting just at slightly different times and not completely together. You want those to be locked in together as tight as possible. Bop together on beat four. And that's what makes this drum beat really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna hit record on Pro Tools here and play it with uh, the tempo of the song. And uh, I'll kinda just mess around a little bit. I might throw a drum fill in there so you guys can kinda get the feel of this laid back shuffle. And uh, yeah, give it a try at home. Let me know how it goes. Tag me here on YouTube or on Instagram. And let me know if you guys tried this beat at home and if it's helped you or not. So 
Here we go. I'm going to hit record. So there you guys have it. That's how you play the drum groove to the song Gravity by John Mayer, played by Steve Jordan. He's one of my favorite drummers of all time. I highly recommend that you guys check out some of Steve Jordan's work. And yeah, that's it for today. Uh, give the video a like if this helped you guys out and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.